Hello everyone, my name is Dimitris, I am the lead engineer and founder of gizmo for unit Today I shall be guiding you through the steps of how we solder most of our devices. Have in mind that this is an educational video and normally what I shall be doing is done much faster when assembling final products. As an example for this video we shall be assembling the motherboard for our Flow 1.5 open source PDA. Since there are many different components on the PCB, we shall be covering most of the techniques used for soldering SMD components, as well as give some useful tips for soldering as well as PCB manufacturing in general. As you will see in front of you, there are some things which we are going to need, and this is the actual PCB, some tweezers, uh, some flux. We are going to be using two different kind of solders here, soldering irons. One is going to be this tip here, which we are going to use most of the time. And the other one is this one here, which is a bit bigger. Uh, we use the second one for um, pads, which are pads like this one, which are basically on the polygonal plane, and they need a bit more, uh, a bit uh, much temperature for uh, soldering components onto them. We are also going to use a um, hot air rework station, which is going to be this one. Now, as a general rule, we set up the temperatures for the soldering iron up to 345 degrees Celsius and for the hot air uh, rework station we use 375. Generally, you need to set up the hot air rework station a bit higher because the actual temperature which gets to the PCB is a bit lower than what's actually measured on the device itself. Okay, the first step that I shall be showing is the preparation of components in the PCB itself. In our current example, we shall be soldering a complicated PCB, and there are some steps we need to take before starting the actual soldering procedure. Since this is a tutorial, I shall be soldering the PCB for educational purposes. All of the components will be soldered by hand with the tools I described earlier. As a general note, these are the most common tools you shall ever need and almost all components can be soldered by using them. You can use soy components, uh, BGA, whatever you like. A hot air rework station will probably do most of them. Okay, the first thing we need to do is prepare the components which we shall be using for the PCB. 